I swear. Politics is a waste of time. You have one side saying, no, you got to support Blue Lives Matter. And if you don't, you're, you divide and you divide others. You're a hater and you're a thug. And the other side says, the liberals, they say, oh, no, you gotta, you got to support Black Lives Matter. And if you don't, you're a racist. Once again, politics is a waste of time. So apparently, heavy-duty country... Went after Ryan Upchurch. Probably seen it already. So, after a long day yesterday, I had to get uh, the skin cancer removed from my right ear, right there. Yeah. Spent half the day at the doctor's office getting the surgery done to get the skin cancer removed from my right ear. The other half of the day, I was at a family member's house. All that kind of good stuff. Most of the day, I was I wasn't on the on online. I was happy about that. It felt I felt refreshed. But lo and behold, I get a notification after I got situated in my place. I got a recommendation on YouTube, and lo and behold. It's heavy duty country calling out Ryan Upchurch. Heavy duty country bragged about how dirty his cowboy, cowboy hat is compared to Ryan's boots. If you have to go around and say, oh, I'm more country than you because I'm dirtier than you. If it's come to that, then uh, got to tell you. Your argument holds no water. They're a heavy-duty country. And uh, as far as uh, Ryan, uh, you know, heavy-duty country saying, oh, well, Ryan Upchurch is 99% talk and 1% walk. Uh, dude, he heavy-duty country, you need to take a look in the mirror. The only time I actually agree with you is when you put Grandmaster Jay, the leader of, in fact, NFAC, in his place, when he did that stupid bullshit in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, his his group, what his group did. But as far as saying that someone is 99% talk and 1% walk, dude, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. How many times did you ask the government permission to be armed the moment you sign those 4473 forms that's not patriotic that's just you placating to your masters oh please sir don't violate my rights please sir can i be armed you placate to the freaking red coats and guess what the the cops are the red coats <laughs> oh you can't say that Oh, you can't say that. Ooh, boo -hoo. As far as Bozy Badass having some opinions, strong opinions about the police, maybe has it occurred to you that Bozy Badass had some bad experience with bad cops? You do realize the perception is reality, right? My gosh. <laughs> Here we are. In 2022, the liberals say, oh, if you don't support Black Lives Matter, you're a racist. And then the other side, the right, the so-called self-proclaimed patriots, but really 99% of them don't know what true freedom is, yet they call themselves freedom lovers and freedom fighters. They say, oh, if you don't support Blue Lives Matter, you're a thug, you're a hater. And they go around and they say, oh, how dare you talk about the cops that way? So apparently, if anybody, especially me, holds the cops accountable for what one of them did, especially the cops, the so-called good cops who do nothing to put the bad cop in his or her place, apparently that's hatred now. Holding people accountable, that's hatred now.
My gosh. You had this this guy, Heavy Duty Country. He had so much material in his video for me to dog on him. Put him in his place. Boy, you may be a veteran, but you know, you use the fact that you're a veteran as like a crutch. Mm, 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 mm. That, that's exactly what that's the biggest problem with some veterans. Oh, I'm a veteran. Respect me. Respect me, man. Respect me. Uh. No, let me tell you something. Regardless of who believes that basic level of respect is given or respect is earned, I'm that kind of person. If you show me, me respect, I'll show you respect. And heavy duty country. As far as I'm concerned, you're not worthy of my respect. Not only do I, do I say that as a fan of Ryan Upchurch, but I say that as a person who actually knows a lot more about freedom than you do. Tell me something, bub. You're one of those freedom fighters. Why aren't you out there fighting in the streets, literally? But instead, you rather fight for your freedoms, fight for your rights in the courtrooms, in the voting booths, and protests. Let me tell you something, boy. Protesting, suing, voting doesn't do jack shit. Mm. Truth. Why do you think the defund police failed? You like to talk about that. That's your main talking point. Why do you think the defund the police failed? And by the way, if they actually succeed in getting rid of no-knock raids, those red flag laws that you're sick and tired of hearing about and you don't like, well, those red flag laws will be completely useless if they got rid of the no-knock raid, uh, no knock raids. Like I said, maybe there's some people out there who have who have bad experiences with some cops. Maybe get down to the nitty gritty and learn from it. See, the thing is, heavy duty country, you're one of those people who talks about unity. Well, practice what you preach.